guys, it's Kira, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new JLab Go Air True Wireless headphones. Um, we're going to unbox them, and I'm going to give them give you guys a little bit of a review, what I think about them. Okay, I ordered these on Amazon for 30 bucks, and they came within a few days. Um, I already have a pair of regular Lightning Connected apple headphones and i have first gen airpods but i wanted to give these a try i've owned jlab headphones before but they were wired um i'm not sure what they were called if i if i can find them i will link them in the description box below um my mom also owns a pair of their truly wireless headphones but hers are the more high-end version i think they were about 60 dollars. i don't remember which ones those are at the moment but if I can find them, I will link those as well as these in the description box below. So let's go ahead and try. My favorite thing about JLab headphones by far is the packaging. Because it's a little magnetic flap where you just open it up and you can see inside. I ordered these in white because I thought it would look the best up against my purple iPhone. Which, now that I see it together, I was right. Um... Let's see if I can get into this packaging. I should have brought scissors. Oof. Got it. I was a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Okay, so the first thing we have here is the headphones sitting right at the top. So I'm going to give those. Well, there's a flap back here. You have to open it up. Um. And we push them out the front. Okay. Now, what originally attracted me to these was A, the price. They are 30 bucks for truly wireless headphones. In comparison to when they were originally released, these were 150 And I think they still are 150 Um, This is what they look like. And I guess you have to... This is what they look like inside the case. And yes... The case is open, but it looks like you have to pull this like that. Oh, and then it starts charging once you pull the tab out. Oh, I think it's connecting. I'm gonna turn my screen recorder on, you guys, so you uh, so you all can see the setup. Okay, guys, I'm back. I finally got them connected to my phone. Um, it was a pretty easy setup. Once you take the tab out, go ahead and take them out of the case and put them in your ears. And make sure that your phone isn't connected to, like, any other device for, I guess, like, the first sync. Because now my Apple Watch is back up and Bluetooth connected to my phone. This is what the inside of the case looks like. So these are, like, the little magnets and the connectors that charge the um, earbuds themselves. Um... The coolest thing about this I found by far is that on the JLab Truly Wireless headphones, the USB cable is kind of built into the case. So that's one extra cable you don't have to carry around. The only thing that worries me about that is like if this part gets a short in it, then you need a whole new pair of headphones. But again, for the price, I mean, um, I don't think that's a bad deal. Um... I think they're really pretty. They fit really well in my ears. Like, it shows you how to put them in, even with my stretch lobes. And I also have piercings in each ear. If you've been on, if you're new here, I have conch piercings in each ear. If you are already a subscriber, then you probably already know that. But I have conch piercings in each ear. So, but it doesn't rub or bump into those. Um, they look great in. If I can lean in on them you guys to see that that looks really cool um they fit i don't feel like they're gonna fall out which is always a thing that's usually an issue for me because i have big lobes but small ears themselves um again pretty easy setup there they it does come with 
Yeah, it keeps it going. Ooh, I don't see them. Oh. Mm. Uh oh. There's hair tips in here. There's more ear tip options in case the ones that come with the headphones that come on the headphones aren't enough. I think these are the small and large. If anything, if I do change anything, I might switch to the small just for a more secure seal. Um, I did test them out. Um, I tested them out off, of, off camera for copyright purposes. I don't want to get copywritten. Um, but I did show you guys which song I chose to test this out with. Um, in the screen record. So I showed you guys the connecting of the headphones and um, which song I chose to so test this out. The sound is really clear, which I wasn't really, I didn't, I wasn't really sure what to expect from the sound. Be coming from wired headphones, I've never experienced like their um, uh, truly wireless headphones. My mom has a pair because she um, uses them for phone calls. Um, and in case you guys are wondering, like, why do you need a third pair of headphones? Because like I mentioned, I have a regular Lightning Connect pair of headphones that came with my iPhone. And I have AirPods, the first gens, already. I don't know if anybody else has had this problem, but one ear, on, I think it's the left ear, on my um, AirPods is slightly lower than the right. I kind of need balanced sound. At least for me, like especially because I like to listen to my music at max volume, and I, I I enjoy bass. The bass on these headphones, the JLab Air Go Airs, they aren't. It's not extreme, but it's enough. Like for the price, you can't really complain about the bass. Like I feel like it's enough. Like I'm not. I need. I'm not over here. Like I need more. Um, I think they're a great buy. I've seen a few reviews here on YouTube. And I, it really got me interested in these, so I wanted to do my own review. Um, it does have controls, just like every other pair of wireless headphones. Um, according to here, you can do you can use Siri. Single tap is volume up and down. Um, track back, press and hold for one second. Um, Power on, press and hold for three seconds each. I guess on each side. Um, reject incoming call is up, press and hold. Um, double tap is play and pause, which is pretty standard. Um, play pause is double tap. So it's good to know that I still have the same, the same um, flexibility and not having to pull out my phone if I'm listening to a playlist I can just skip ahead or lower the volume for when you to hear things around me um I will say that these are pretty noise canceling because I can't hear my sit when I was playing the music I couldn't hear like my siblings downstairs running around so like I said this is a great buy I do recommend it for someone who's looking for a good pair of headphones that aren't maybe the most expensive things but they're definitely worth the price and they're durable so um I do know from testing out their wired headphones and my mom having j -Lib true true wireless headphones herself that these are that this was a great buy and I probably won't really need much else besides this. I'll probably be using these for for months to come. Um charging is what you would expect. You put the um earbuds back into the case here according to which ear it is and when the light starts blinking you know that it's charged um and then when you pull them out they're ready to be they're ready to connect back to your device and you start listening and or talking on the phone um that was my review on the j lab go ears um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.